Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Danny Looney. Right here on our Facebook page, Danny asks, I would like to see a tutorial on how to add realistic flames or fire to a photo. Well, Danny, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. You could either be asking about how to create fake flames out of nothing or how to take some flames and add them to another photo. So for the first one, how to create fake flames out of nothing, there are already a number of really interesting tutorials on the web. If we switch over just to a Google search, and if you search on Photoshop, Elements Create Flames, as I've done here, the very first one in the list is actually my favorite. Tips and Tricks for Photoshop Elements, How to Create Flames. And that's at photoshopelementstips.blogspot.com. If you just click on that, you'll see a very nice tutorial that walks you step by step how to take a blank document. And I'll scroll pretty fast through here right down all the way to the end to get some kind of cool looking flames. So if that's what you're looking to do, I would actually suggest walking through this tutorial. What I'm going to show you how to do is take some flames and add them to another photo. Hopefully between the two, we'll get you the answer that you need. So here in the Elements Editor, I've got a couple photos open. Uh, one is of just an unlit match head and one is of some flames. And so what we're going to do is go make it look like this match head is on fire. Over here on the right, this is my Layers panel. Uh, if your Layers panel happens to not be showing, this button right down here, just click Layers and it'll open it up. Select this first layer here, which is probably the only layer in your photo if you've just got a picture of some flames, and just drag and drop that onto your other picture. At this point, we can go ahead and close this flames picture. We don't need that anymore. Now what I've got is a photo with two layers. I've got my original layer, which is my match head, and I've got this second layer on top of that, which is my flames. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is isolate just the match head. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this layer temporarily, right? We're just going to work on this layer zero, which is my match head. And what I want to do is be able to get rid of this sort of purple, dullish, funky background and just have my match head in the image. So the way I do that is come over here. This tool right here is the quick selection tool. Select my quick selection tool and just come over here and drag along the match head. And you can see I don't have to be real precise, I just sort of drag down the middle. And Photoshop Elements automatically does a bunch of edge detection and finds the edges of the match head for me. Now, I don't actually want the match head selected, I want all of this background selected. So I'm going to go Select, Inverse, and now what I've got selected is all this kind of purpley background. At this point, I can hit my Backspace key or Delete, and then select, deselect, so now nothing is selected. Now I've got just that match head isolated without any of that background. All right, let's go ahead and turn back on our flames and let's change the order of these layers. Temporarily, let's put this layer zero on top just by dragging it up and now I've got my match on top of my flames. The next thing I want to do is grab my move tool, this one right here, first one in the select section and click on my background layer, those flames, and move them around till I get the flame shape that I want on top of my match, or actually behind my matches. So maybe I want that, or I'll actually use this one right here. Uh, maybe kind of something like that. Okay, now I've got my flames positioned properly. The thing I want to do is isolate just sort of this bit of flame. I don't want all this stuff on the side because that doesn't look natural. I want it to look like this flame is actually coming off of the match head. So I'll put my layers back in that original order just by dragging layer zero down. It now goes underneath my flames. And I'm going to show you something called layer masks. Layer masks is a very powerful feature of Photoshop Elements that allows you to sort of show and hide um, bits of a layer without actually deleting them. Like the match head, we actually deleted that background. For the flames, we're not actually going to delete them. So this little icon here is how we add a layer mask. Now over here on the right, we have a layer mask. It's filled with white. When you paint on a layer mask with white, that layer shows. When you paint with black, that layer is hidden. So I'm going to select my layer mask. I'm going to make sure my foreground color is set to black and I'm going to grab a brush and come over here and you can see wherever I paint 
on the layer mask, that flame is hidden. Now I'm not actually erasing the flames, I'm just hiding them. See over here I've painted with black and the rest is white. If they switch to white and paint on the layer mask, the flames come right back. So it's kind of like undoing or, or unhiding or however you want to think of it. So as simple as that I can show or hide bits of any particular layer. Alright, so let's go back to black. Let's paint a bit. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger because what I want to do is paint out most of these flames and get my match head back kind of like that something like that there we go and since I'm using the layer mask and not just erasing those pixels again if I switch back to white make my brush a little smaller in fact let's zoom in here so we can really see what's going on now I get my brush and as I paint with white on my layer mask I can actually bring those flames back so I can have them stretch down the side of the match a little bit if I want something like that um, let's get this real solid up here on the tip of the flame but these other flames that are coming in I don't really want those so again back to black and I can just hide some of these flames just by painting on that layer mask and kinda blend it in here so maybe it looks kind of a little more natural these flames down here I don't want those either let's get rid of those okay so double click on my hand to resize my image to fit now I've got some flames coming off of my match what I really want is black background everywhere so let's add a new layer this little icon here is my add a new layer and it will add a new blank layer I'm going to use my paint bucket tool with black selected as my foreground color and just click and that entire layer is filled with black of course since it's on the top it's covering up everything else so I want to drag it to the background there we go so now I've got a black layer I've got my match and then I've got some flames some of my flames showing because I painted white on the layer mask most of my flames hidden because I've painted black and you see now that we've got a black background here I found some of the places that I missed when I was painting my layer mask so I can just come in and touch those up and get rid of all those flames. Simple as that. Alright, one more thing I might want to do. So now I've got this burning match, but um, the match head is still all red, and we all know as a match head burns it turns black. So I'm going to select my match layer. I'm going to drag and drop it on my new layer icon to duplicate it. So I've made a copy of it. And then I'm going to convert just that layer to black and white. So with just that layer selected, I'll go to the Enhance menu, Adjust Color, and Remove Color. So now I've got a black and white match on top of my color match, but I just want the bit of the tip to be black and white. So the same way I hid some of the flames, I'm going to hide some of this black and white match. I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to have black as my foreground color, grab my brush tool, and come over here and just start painting away again I'm hiding it by painting black on the layer mask painting away that black and white match bring some of the color back where maybe the match head hasn't quite burned yet and do something like that so now I've got uh, sort of a black grayish match head where the flames are coming out I've still got my red match head where it hasn't burned yet so that's sort of a technique uh, that I would use to add flames to a picture. Uh, of course, you could do this to somebody's head, somebody's hands, whatever kind of picture that you might be interested in adding flames to. The techniques are all the same. Hope that helps. Take care.